Fires happen quite often here in the Tri-States, but usually more often during the winter. This spring, however, you might have noticed an increase. You'd be right. A report shows firefighters in Quincy responded to five structure fires in just the past week. WGEM's Claire Edlin joins us live. So Claire, the culprit is common? Yes, Mackenzie and Daniel, between uh, this refrigerator, microwave, and my phone that needs charging, I only have one outlet. And while a power strip may seem like a great solution, local electricians and fire officials warn you to think again. You know, everything's electrical now from phone chargers and any kind of appliances. Quincy Fire Department's Deputy Chief Steve Salrin says they've had an uptick in fires over the last week, many of which he suspects were electrical. People try to tend to, they don't tend to do it intentionally, but they will overload the, the circuits in their home. Salrin says oftentimes what they find is people used extension cords or power strips as a main power source for large appliances like refrigerators or microwaves. He says high voltage items like that need to go in their own wall outlet. For smaller devices like phone chargers, some but not all power strips are safe. Um, the basic power strips with like the surge protection on them, that way um, they have a circuit breaker on the device itself that will trip if it gets overloaded. Fire officials and local electricians say older homes built before the 70s can be more at risk for electrical fires. Typically the older homes, the older structures might not have been wired when the, they had more strict wiring codes. Master electrician Steve Edgar says another issue with older structures is some don't have GFCI outlets which can prevent fires, shock injuries and fatal burns. That protection is set in place. They're the receptacles that have the test and reset button on them. They're, they're uh, been in the code since 1971 and they're very very reliable and edgar says if you have any electric electrical problems big or small to never try to fix it yourself and call your local electrician immediately reporting live in quincy i'm claire edland wgem news and thank you, Claire. And Edgar says, if you rent and have electrical problems, talk with your landlord. They should listen to you and take your concerns seriously.